Hey everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today I'm going to cover part two of our basic algebra practice problems for the GED math test. If you haven't checked out our earlier videos from before, make sure you do that. There's some questions on basic math and geometry, um, and then we're going to put out some more videos in the future on graphs and functions, so make sure you check those out as well. But for now, let's get started. Okay. So I have a question or like a small kind of word problem in a sense that says write an expression to represent the description. And so the description says the product of the sum of three and two times a number and the difference of five less than four times the same number. Whoa, that's a lot. So let's kind of break it down and figure out how to put this together. So when they say write an expression, they really want you to write in numbers and letters what is represented by all the words that are here. And so we need to figure out which words represent which letters, functions, variables, things like that. So let's start picking this apart. The product. Product means multiply. So I'm going to be multiplying two things together. Okay. The sum of two things. The sum is plus. So I'm going to be adding two things together and part of it. The sum of three and two times a number. So three and two times a number. So when I see the phrase a number, I usually represent it by the letter X. You can use any letter you want. I just use X because, you know, I like to use X a lot. Um, not to be confused by this one, which means I'm actually going to get rid of that and do something different. Let's use a dot. A dot can be multiplication. So three, the sum of three and two times a number. Three sum two times a number. I'm going to put all that in parentheses just because I know it's one quantity. Times, because we're doing product, the difference of five less than four times the same number. So then I have kind of this piece here and all of this. All right. Difference means subtract, which means I'm going to be subtracting two things. So I'm going to use a parentheses to put them as like a quantity and a subtraction sign in the middle. Five less than four times the same number. So five less than something means I'm going to be subtracting five off of it, which means my minus five is going to go at the end and four times the same number. So instead of twice or two times, it's four times my number. So now I have my two quantities that I'm multiplying together, finding the product of. I have the sum of three and two times a number. And then I have the difference of five less than four times the number. And I'm finding the product between those two, represented by the dot, or you can use multiplication symbol, or things like that. So I've put all my words into letters and numbers. My expression is complete. This is actually my final answer. I can check it off and move on to the next problem. All right. Another word problem. Um, again, I think there's word problems are more found in kind of the algebra section of the geometry because um, they ask you to kind of create expressions or equations. So it lends itself to more algebra. So let's go ahead and read it. When Jackie watched the sunrise at 7 a.m., the temperature was 62 degrees Fahrenheit. A nice cool morning. If the temperature rises 3 degrees each hour, what was the temperature when Jackie went for a walk at 3 p.m.? Right in the middle of the day, nice and hot. Let's see how hot it actually is. So let's figure out a couple things here. From 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. is a certain number of hours. I need to figure that out. So from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., is how many hours? Well, 7 to 12 p.m. is 5 hours. And then I have another 3 hours after that to get to 3. So I have 8 total hours. And if the temperature is rising 3 degrees every hour, then I know that I have 8 times 3 to figure out the total number of uh, degrees it went up, which is 24 degrees. So if it started at 62 degrees at 7 a.m. and if it's gone up by 24 degrees, then 62 plus 24 is a nice hot 86 degrees outside for her 3 p.m. walk. You know, it's a rough time to go for a walk, but hey, you got to get out there and do it. So, you know, good for Jackie. 
but it's going to be 86 degrees while she's walking, so it is a little warm. But aside from the point, these are problems that are really good because there's different parts you need to piece together to figure out how to set up your equation, or if you can just kind of figure it out individually without setting up an equation, you can do that as well. But I hope this helps when you get the, these types of problems. Again, with word problems, really piece together your information and use it to solve. Um, go ahead and check out the other videos I have on part one of basic algebra and some of the other sections and get ready to check out in the future my other videos on some graphs and functions. I hope this helps. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.